Good afternoon. Um, my name is Pastor Ojimba Ali, and um, I'm the founder of Gospel Faith Ministry Television. But today, I would like to talk to you about tithe and offering. Now, tithe and offering is something that you give unto the Lord when you go to the church, when you go to the house of the Lord. You don't go to the house of the Lord empty-handed because God is expectant of you to bring something to his house. And the other day, I was in my house, relaxing, and the Lord laid it in my heart. And the Lord said to me, Pastor Ojimba Ali, when you go to church, don't go there empty-handed no more. Have a little something for me. Remember me, because I am your Father, and I am your Lord God. And when God said to me, I should go to the church and give my tithes and offerings, I agreed with God, but when I turned around, I didn't really do it. I never gave that tithe, tithe and offering. And um, I thought that was the end of the whole situation. But you know, I'm here to share with you because it's like a week later, God revisited me again. And God said, Pastor Ojimba Ali, I'm, come, I'm calling on you for the second time. And he said to me, Pastor Ojimba Ali, I told you to give a tithe and offering in the house of the Lord, but you didn't do it. And the Lord said, you didn't do it. And God wasn't really too happy with me. So because I didn't do it, I didn't give the tithe and offering, I began to develop pain and ache in my body. I couldn't really move. And the Lord said to me, when I looked up, I was praying, and God said to me, it's because I told you to pay the tithe and offering for the first time, you didn't do it. I told you to pay for the second time, you didn't do it. So don't be surprised that you're going through the pains and the aches because you're opening the door to the enemy. But God said, because Pastor Ojimba Alex, I love you. And because I love your followers, and because I love your ministry, I'm going to give you the opportunity to go and pay your tithes and offering for the third time. I said, yes, my Lord. But the third time, I was obedient to God. I paid the tithes and offering. But the problem was, I paid it in the wrong place. I didn't pay in the right place when God told me to pay the tithes and offering. And you know, that was a problem as well because the Lord wasn't satisfied. So God visited me again. And he said to me, Pastor Ojimba Ali, you're getting closer, but when I tell you to do something, you must listen to every single word that I speak. Because why? I am your Lord, your God. So he said to me, Pastor Ojimba Ali, you've done well, but doing well is not good enough. In the kingdom of God, everything is perfect. That's what God said to me. He said, I appreciate the fact that you paid your tithes and offering, but you didn't pay what I told you to pay. So that means half of the job is done, and when half of the job is done, I can't bless you for that. Because he is the God of everything. And there's a song that goes like this. He's the God of everything. He's the God of everything. But I'm not going to sing that song. I'll leave it there. It goes like this. Behold all powers in your hand. For everlasting is my King. You hold all powers in your hand. You are God. God of everything. But I'm not going to sing that song. So he said to me, you pay the tithes and offerings in the wrong place. So he said to me for the fourth time, Pastor Ojimba Alex, go to the Tabernacle Grace Church and pay your tithes and offerings. And I said, yes, my Lord. And I went to the Tabernacle Grace and I paid that tithes and offering. And you know what happened? A week later, I was lying down on my bed. I was bored at home. I was reminiscing, I was thinking about life, I was thinking about what's the next step to take and you know, the Lord visited me again for the third time and he said, Pastor Ojimba Alex, my servant, my minister, my prophet, thank you for doing exactly what I told you to do, thank you for paying the tithes and offering, 
in the right place and at the right time. And as me and God were conversing, suddenly I received a phone call that day. And I looked at the screen of my phone and I didn't even recognize the number. And I said, hello, who is this? And it turned out to be another pastor that I've never spoken to for 15 years. And they said, Pastor Jimba Alex, I've got, I've got a good message for you. I've got a positive message for you. And I said, what is this? They said, Pastor Ojimba Alex, we have paid for you to do an MA in theology in university, all paid for, go to the university and get your receipt. So the point I'm trying to make here is, without that tithe and offering, without paying it in the right place, that miracle wouldn't have taken place. I'm here to say to you that when you pay your tithes and offerings and when you listen to God and when you pay your tithes and offerings in the right place, it opens doors. And not only does it open doors, it opens windows as well. Because he's the God of everything. He is the God of everything. And I'm going to sing that song one more time. <laughs> he is the God of everything. Oh, he's the God of everything. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the God of everything. Pay your tithes and offerings. Pay at the right time and listen to the voice of God. Just say you're a champion. <laughs>